Hey everyone, I'm uh, Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at America's number one selling motorhome and a new floor plan from them. This is a 2021 Thor Ace model 29.5. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Ace and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking our first look at this brand new floor plan from Thor, the Ace 29.5. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. First thing, you said new floor plan? Yes. Okay. Anytime I hear new floor plan, I get so excited. Exactly. Anything new, you guys, is just, oh, it's a breath of fresh air. Also, you guys, Thanksgiving is this week, and we have something special going on. We will be selling stickers sometime on Friday. Yep, and we'll let them know, Andre. There, we're, we're, so here's what we're doing. There's only gonna be 50 of them. We're donating all the money to a local animal charity, and we'll let everybody know who's watching this video what time right. Friday, but you need to watch the we'll whole video. Watch the whole video. Yeah. And speaking of new, we do have new merchandise. Bing! New shirts that we're also, uh, don't buy them now. We, we will be giving out a Black Friday coupon code as well. Let's begin. Model is 29.5, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 30 feet 11 inches. This is the Thor Ace. It's their entry level motorhome, but it is the number one selling motorhome in the country. And what Ace stands for, it or what it stood for, is Class A, Class C evolution. This gives you all the great features of a Class A while trying to keep the price point of a Class C. And because that price point makes it, you know, number one selling. New, uh, well, and what they always do for the Ace is they do have that front brow to kind of protect from the sunlight when driving. And then new for 2021, they start, and they did it 2020 part two. They started with this partial body paint up front. It makes it look really good and nice. And then you have your headlights right it there. It definitely makes it look a lot better. Yep. Coming down the side, we do have chrome mirrors right here, left side, right side, with cameras in them. In the left side, right side, also a camera in reverse. We do have a doggy window right up here. I love that because it's uh, the doors behind the seat. And new for 2021 is Thor's new 12 year structural warranty, six year lamination warranty. Very nice. And it is frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. Check out these tires. Dre, they're the Goodyear tires. I love those. 245-70R, 19.5. And you do have the shiny rims right here. I almost forgot to mention. Because this is a gas motor home, and because it is a 2021, it does have the new 7.3 liter Godzilla V8 engine. Uh, 350 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, coming down the side, again, frameless windows. We do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. That's a great size awning. Awesome. As Andre said, this awning is huge and awesome. I love that. Right here is where you fill up your potable water fill. Potable, potable, potable. And then here, we do have some storage there. Okay. Okay. With the, uh, did you notice that light on the inside? Yes. Very nice. Right here is your battery bay. Also right there is a D-ring for you to leash up your dogs. Just make sure you don't go driving off with them. Right here. We do have a TV on the outside with sound bar. Right there, we do have more storage. And then there's also a drainage plug right there, Andrea. Uh, so if it does get wet in there, you can drain that out. Well, that's cool. Yep. Got an electrical outlet right here. Yes, ma'am, right there. Water heater right here. I love this. Look how it blended in. You can almost, you couldn't even tell it was there. Very nice. Right here is your propane tank. And I'll try you. We'll have all the tank sizes, lengths, width, specs, everything about this motorhome down in the description below. Also, right here, bing, for everybody who's watching on television. And then, right here, we do have a propane quick connect. 
which works very well with this right here. Wow. A nice outside kitchen. I love that. You have your sink here. Right here is your hot point refrigerator. You got a little bit of storage right there. Very nice. A light and this sink. Is on through. Yep. Little sponges. place for sponges. Drawer. Drawer wow, right there. Wow, Matt. This is a great size because this is what? Almost under 30 feet. Right, right, exactly. National uh, and state parks. Very nice. Coming around the back, Andrea. We do have an 8,000 pound hitch. Now, this motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. You are good at 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you always want to make sure you weigh your motorhome to make sure you're not maxing out the GCWR. You have your fuel fill up in the rear. I love that. So it makes it easy to access on both sides. Uh, right there, we do have a backup camera integrated in that rear tail light. And Andrea, we do have a one piece TPL roof. Let's go up there and I take a look. I hope you stretch this morning. Here we go now. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see this only has one AC unit. It is a 30 amp motorhome. We have not one, but two max air fans. I love that. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. And then right here, you can see that it is prepped for solar on the roof. Hold on. Here we go now. Take your time. Here we go. One more step. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Seriously, nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Finishing up with the driver's side. Right here, Andrea. Oh, that's locked. We have a, we have a Cummins Onan 4000 generator. Do you know what else is in there? What? The time for the new sticker giveaway is right now. Oh. We are, so Thursday, we're going to give out the Black Friday coupon code for our new merchandise. And you can see the new merchandise right here. Um, so we'll have the Black Friday code there, but the sticker will go on sale Friday at 8.30 a.m. on mattsrvreviews.com. Wow. And again, we're donating 100% one of, of that money to the animal charity, and we're also matching that money. So 8.30 a.m. There's a bee trying to get me. 8.30 a.m. Friday at mattsrvreviews.com. Thanks for watching this part of the video. What say you, Andrea? About the storage? No, about oh. the sticker. I think it's awesome. We thank you. We thank you guys. And like, I love animals. I mean, it's just, it's just so sad when we see things happen to the animals. So anything, anything we can do to help them out, you guys. We're here for you. Is, is awesome. Yep. Right there. We have our dump valves, outdoor shower and everything. 30 amp motor home right there. That's your hookups. And more storage yep, more storage all right very nice oh and also please everybody just buy one sticker because because we're limiting them people are gonna start fighting over them and stuff so <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying or maybe buy one or two i don't know and then right there's your uh auto well, there's leveling. only 50 Right, so, so maybe they're gonna just, probably go pretty fast. And better not let me see them on eBay. <laughs> well, everybody, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Nobody would do that to our Yuna. All right, guys, cargo carrying capacity? Yes, ma'am. 2,284 pounds. Wow, that's a lot for this. Wow. I'm liking the colors in here. Yeah, new colors. Interesting. Okay, so here's the walkway. As you can see, I have room to get through. Here's the bathroom and the master bedroom. Oh, great. And the bed is accessible. Wow. There you go. Well, Andrea, while the side outs are coming out, we have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could leave down in the comments below, let us know three things you like and three things you don't like. The more people to smash that thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to promote us, and the more cool things we can do. 
you know? And we thank you guys. We thank each and every one of you. Just remember, every time you guys leave a comment, the manufacturers are reading it, so they are actually changing things now. And Thor does read the comments. They watch the, all the videos. And you know what? If you have a direct message to Thor, hashtag in your comment, Thor, and the guy, Jonathan, reads all the comments. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin up here. All right, Andrea, check this out. This is the new dash to the 7.3 liter V8. Okay, very nice, very modern. I like this. You have your auto leveling controls right there. Everything's push of a button. Now, something that I want you guys to notice, I'm, I'm holding this right here, okay? The windshield's not as big because of that brow. It's just a different view. Some people are going to like this view. It's more direct. You don't have all that open, and it's going to help with the sunlight, but some people aren't going to like that view. There's definitely pros and cons. We have our radio right here android auto apple carplay cameras and everything and andrea yes what's that oh this is one of my favorite features oh very nice yes but i definitely would have to move the chair up yep yep for yeah. sure but i like this it's very sturdy um you have a privacy curtain here a yep lamp. yep i even like that i have cubbies up here very and, nice especially because the doggy windows down here yep right there electrical and, outlets uh -huh. speakers usbs so nice and I, then we do have three cup holders right there i like how they did this dog house yep yep for sure now everybody both seats do swivel uh -huh. and there is a pedestal table that can go here yep and then we also do have a bunk over the cab which is right here max weight of 250 pounds yeah so. not a lot but again i'm not mad at that on this price point you know look how it goes down yep interesting so i'll tell you guys a little bit more about this bunk over the cab a little bit later in the video but also look at that netting up there so nice and you can actually hide stuff in there because when this goes up there's no way to get him back there very okay. cool then over here in the living room area, Andrea, we do have your TV above the dinette, and it is kind of diagonal over here to where the sofa is. This is a jackknife sofa. It's very comfortable. We have our nice farmhouse looking cabinetry above, okay? Underneath, we have lights, USBs, and speakers underneath, right? And then right there, we do have, we have these, these window blinds. Um, price point, you know, and this is what I really like. I like those. Do you like those balances? Yeah, I mean, they're they're a lot better than yeah. what we've seen. I like those balances. And then we also have cup holders right here. And again, I like how we have a good TV placement right there. You know, I like the dinette on the side. Uh-huh. Yeah. We don't yeah. see that a lot. Dinette on the campsite, for sure. That means, you know, you can look out to your campsite and everything there's the msrp i was looking for that um we have a cup holders right here here's some nice selling points and then we do have storage above right there awesome very nice and the tv's right here so i think i like the tv there yep and do we have storage under i don't let's just think check so. real quick just to make sure no Maybe? that's a water tank it is okay yeah yeah, yeah okay, okay. Well, Andrea, oh, and this does drop down to make a bed. It's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is, I didn't know it until about five seconds ago. And it's not, this unit isn't even on our website yet. $138,323 MSRP. Sale price is... So here's what I did. I took the sale price of a unit that was 140 and it was 98995. So that means this one's probably 95 or 96995 sale price. Um but I'm not 100% sure, but that's about what it is. Less than $100,000 sale price. I'll I'll put it to you that way. But Andrea it doesn't matter if the sale price is 95, 99, 158. Doesn't matter what sale price is. We can always get you an even better sale price than that. I'm trying to tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell phone number or 
Send me an email at mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or even better, what I prefer is just going to mattsrvreviews.com and clicking the contact form. I'm not always available to answer my phone, but if you send me an email, I'll get back to you within 24 hours. And if you need me to call you, I will do that. But Andreo, it doesn't matter what they do to contact me. What is the one thing we will always get them? We will always get them the best price in America. <laughs> Thanks everyone, Andrea. Let's continue the video. Okay, everybody. Here's the kitchen. Yes. Up here we got cabinetry. Oh, adjustable shelf. Very nice. Got a window here. Uh huh. Of course, and it does have um. Does it have a shade or a blind? No, it's probably. Oh. 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 What's going on there? It has a shade. I like that. Yep. Nice big sink. You do have an extension. Got a cabinet under here. Oh! Oh! oh that's two! Trash. Double! That's two $83 trash cans. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. Very nice. I love the LED lights under here. Uh -huh. Very nice. Got another cabinet up here. I really like they put adjustable shelves in here. Yep, yep, for sure. Nice counter space. Big counter space. So here they did backsplash. That's uh -huh. interesting, but not on this side. Mm -hmm. You get a three burner Furion cooktop. Yes, ma'am. Glass cover. And I'll go over that in a second. Ooh, Ooh the blue lights. Blue. And you get an oven. That's Very a great nice. size oven. This kind of drawer is kind of weird to me, but yep. I can see you can put get some pots and pans in there. And then we have four drawers. Nice. One, two. These are good size too. Look at three. that. And four. Very nice. And we have a looks like a two-way refrigerator. Yep, runs both all propane and electric. Very nice. Nice. And over here in the bathroom, we have a nice pocket door for the bathroom. Okay. Over here in the shower, we actually have a decent sized shower. Wow. Not the biggest shower, definitely not the smallest one. But I will say for this floor plan style, this is a, That's a, lot of a really good size. Very nice. Matt, Andre, you, have to sh you have to close this so oh. they can see. Okay, that's yeah. better than a shower curtain. And I'm just going to point this out because this is interesting to me. What is that? Oh, that's a doggy oh. bowl. Oh, good eye, Andrea. I didn't even see that. Cool. And then show everybody the sink and stuff. Okay, so they have a mirror here. Very nice. Cute sink. Good counter space. Uh-huh. Cabinetry. Very nice. More cabinetry. Double nice. Towel rack, towel holder, and then under here, got a little bit of storage. Yep. Cubbies back there. Very cute. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the toilet test. Porcelain. Hey, Matt, close the pocket door real quick. I would like to see you in there. How are you in there? Snug? It's a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. That's surprising. <laughs> yeah, no, it was great. All right, I want to point out this um, entryway to the bedroom, how big it is right yeah. here. And it has a pocket door on the bedroom. Very nice. And it looks like we have a king size bed. King size bed, yes. Oh, Matt, look at these nightstands. Yes, it's really great They're because so you can put cute. cell phones there or CPAP machines there. Wow. And we then we have storage all above. And hang stuff here yep you got oh nice cabinetry back there lots of storage space there is a usb over here uh -huh. and next to the other side yep and the other side also has the wardrobe and then over here we got tv, TV. with storage behind it very nice we have a little tabletop right there uh we have a drawer big drawers another big drawer right and big storage right so here. So there's your pedestal table that goes up front. So uh -huh. there's another wardrobe there. And the other side. Yep, very nice. And then you have four drawers there. Yes. Very cute. Now I will comment on the slide. The slide is really cute. Uh huh. I like what they're doing now. See how it has just like a, the color's different there in the middle, but it's not all one piece of clunky wood. Yep, yep. So it makes sure. it look a lot brighter in here. And then and oh, oh wow, that's look how deep good that goes. Storage. Look, that goes deep too. Wow. And there's the ladder for the bunk bed, guys. Yes. That's amazing. It is amazing. And amazing as this is, and as nice as it is, Andrea, it's now time we give everybody 
three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do with first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay. You're going to go first? I'm going to go first. Go ahead. You know why? I'm confused, guys. I don't see a pantry. Oh. Oh. So maybe you would have to use this for your food. Okay. So not a ton of food storage. Right. Okay. Yeah, that, that that's a big deal to me. But I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I guess you'd have to find other places to put it. You'd have to get really creative, guys. But other than that, I like this floor plan a lot. Okay. Uh, yours? So that's one dislike. No, no, no. No. Okay, yeah. You want to point that out? Yes. Yeah, right there is a car seat tether. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, that's the Barrera family, and they just came down from Virginia. So we're gonna have to say hi to them when we're done for filming. Oh. Uh, so that's one dislike. Here's dislike number two. I hate these window blinds. Me too. Blinds. I can't believe they put this right. one here. Look, this is the one I like. Right. These are the ones I don't like. It doesn't I, make sense. Right, like. Cost. Look, yeah, but, but look, but like, yeah. I don't like that. I really, I really dislike that, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Hang on a second. Hi guys! I'll see you guys when we're done filming. Or, or do you want us to rather see Andrea? <laughs> oh, yeah, we like her the best. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a few. Okay, so that's two, and then three is the weight of the bunk over the cab. 250 pounds, womp womp. I'm not a fan of that. That's one of the lowest bunk over the cabs that we have for the weight rating. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready for me to go first? Sure. I love this bunk over the cab. Now again, I don't like the weight rating, but here's the deal, here's why I love this. The reality is it's a motorhome, okay? And things go wrong. With this bunk over the cab, I do not recommend this, but I could still drive home. You know what I'm saying? Where there is some bunk over the cabs where everything comes down and then you're stuck. There's nothing you can do if the bunk um, stays down. Where this one, again, I don't recommend doing it, but you could in a tight situation. Yeah. So that's one. Andrea, too. Okay, I really like this bedroom back here. Okay. I love that this motorhome is just 30 feet and maybe a little tiny bit over. Uh huh. But I love all the storage in here. Yep. And I love that I can walk around and that I still get a king size bed. Yep. I love it. And the fact that I still get nightstands. Yep. It's a great layout. I could totally do this. So I have a number three, but I also have a fourth like and a fourth dislike because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. And so it's the time season of giving. And so I'm gonna give four things I like and four things I don't like. But number three thing I really like, entry level motorhome, entry level price, no ducks in the floor. Yes. You know Good what I'm saying? Point. No ducks in the floor. This is very dog orientated. You yes. have your dog bowls, you have your doggy window, you have your dog tie down, and you have your, you know, I really love that. So that's three and three. And then number four and four. I almost forgot about the, yep, I know you're going to it. Number four thing I absolutely love about this motorhome is this outside kitchen. It's so nice, I love it, it's good for camping. And the number four thing I dislike about this motorhome is the twisty locks. Yes. You guys know me, I hate these twisty locks. I'm not a fan of them and I never will be a fan of them, but it is what it is. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Again, starting tomorrow, we are doing the Black Friday sale and you'll see a video and a post and a notification tomorrow. Also an email for 20, let's go over here, for 25% off merchandise on Matt's RV Reviews. So if you're not a member of the newsletter, just go to mattsrvreviews.com and sign up. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number. Or again, better yet, always go to mattsrvreviews.com for everything. That's gonna be the best way you contact me and then I will contact you to make sure I get in contact with you. Also, finally, in a few seconds, you're gonna see two videos right here of direct competition to this ace. Andrea, do you have anything you wanna say? Sure. 
Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Thor does read the comments. Yep. So if you have anything to say, make sure you leave it. Yep. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are safe and well, and I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys are, are staying uh, safe and you guys are blessed. Yep, for sure. And again, bing, we are selling this sticker at on friday we already revealed the time sometime during this video so make sure you're on mattsrvreviews.com when it goes live at that time thank you so much for watching make sure you watch another video smash that thumbs up button and andrea we'll see you next time